Good evening everyone and welcome to tonight's video where I'm coming on to share whatever will flow and whatever messages are needed to be heard at this time. So as I'm waiting for people to come on live, I'm gonna clear the space a little bit, bring a little bit of sage and a little bit of sound healing into this room, into this energy that I will be sharing with you. So while I am getting all of that going and you are just tuning in, I'm inviting you to find a comfortable position where you can sit and listen and just tune into whatever is going to be shared today. So find yourself somewhere nice and cozy, maybe make yourself a little cup of tea, some water. So while we're waiting for people to come on, do what you got to do as I prepare and cleanse the space and also we'll send this cleansing down to your way wherever you're located at as we know with these energies um, the the energy of sage can transmute itself through time and dimensions and space so as i am here with my intention clearing the energy of the space here it is my intention to also clear the energy of wherever that you're sitting. So I invite you to take a deep breath in and breathe in this beautiful smoke of white sage as we bring the intention of clarifying and purifying the energies of the air around you and of the energy of the air here around me so that we can receive the voice and the guidance today from a place of clarity and purity. Okay, so getting yourself comfortable, you guys, and breathing in some sage, yeah. <sighs> yeah. And then now that we have cleared the energy, we have purified the space, we're now going to call in a beautiful high vibrational frequency to surround and orbit around us, around the space that you're sitting in by the playing of the beautiful Tibetan bowl. The intention is to allow for the high vibrational frequencies to come forth and ground into this new and clear space that we have just created. So you can close your eyes and take a deep breath in. Calling forth beautiful high vibrational frequencies of light and love and higher wisdom to come into this space now. May the vibrations uplift the environment and the energy allowing us to receive from a place of love and clarity. beautiful beautiful thank you everybody who has tuned in it's awesome to see each and every one of you gathering together in this collective space tonight we are all in different parts of the world maybe some of us are in different timelines however we are able to still despite this huge global um, catastrophic event that's happening all around we're still able to come together in this collective space so I want you to take a moment before I start to just take a breath in and out and I'm going to do that and I invite you to also do that just to kind of ground into the body a little bit more. And as you're breathing out, I want you to feel a little bit more connected to your body. Perhaps you can hear the heartbeats within your chest. Perhaps you can feel the breath entering the body, expanding through the belly. Or perhaps you can just feel really grounded sitting wherever that is that you are sitting. So wherever you are, know that you are in a perfect place in your life. 
So today is my invitation to each and every one of you to see what is happening globally and to lean into the place of the unknown. I come to you here in this time and space to share my perspective of what is happening for me in this world and to share some guidance and tools for moving forward in this time of crisis. So I have been on my spiritual awakening journey for almost 10 years now. And the biggest thing that I have learned along the way is when we are in the process of shedding layers before moving into huge transformational processes, it is very scary, okay? It's very scary and it's very unknown because the, the inner part of us really knows that this is needed for healing and for change to become, but the human part of us is feeling very uncertain because we are so used to uh, being comfortable. We are so used to the familiarity of day-to-day -day life. And as many of you know, we are living in times where things are just no longer working. They haven't been working. The structure of our politics, of the governments, of the medical system, of the food industry, everything around us is being in a way collapsed at this time. Because now with this coronavirus, a lot of light is being shed on aspects of our existence that have been lurking in the dark, doing things from an unconscious place that haven't been in support of the global. So now with this opportunity of staying inside, we get to really watch the world from a different perspective if you're willing to look at it that way. Okay, so the biggest concept that I want to invite you to let go of is living in fear. Okay, because that is exactly what the governments and the higher powers the Illuminati's, this is exactly what their intentions are to control the public, okay? To impose so much negativity and so much fear into the world so that they have more control of population. So they can have the opportunity to lock us inside our houses, to put a limit on how much time we can spend outside, to put a limit on our supplies, to put a limit on how we can show up in this world through our work, and to keep us in control, this is the test. If anybody is ever curious to look deeper into the conspiracy theories of what's going on, I invite you to look into Agenda 21 and into the really deep and dark aspects about what is happening right now, okay? The thing is, is that we have been at war. There is an energetic war happening between the light and the dark. And it's all meant to be. All of it is happening in divine timing and divine order because that's the process of human evolution. So as we are able to surrender into the space now as a collective to be forced to really reflect on our lives, what has been working, what hasn't been working, where have you been limiting yourself? This coronavirus space is an opportunity for all of us to step into the next dimensional reality of shifts and changes that we want, okay? So I'm gonna dive a little bit into the metaphysics and into the esoterics realms because I am of this world, but I'm also aware that a big part of me is connected to all that is, to the energetic grid around me, to the energetic space of all consciousness, of all realities. So as the physical human body of Ali is sitting in front of you here, the higher self part of me is connected to all there is. And what I have been feeling at this time is that we are really shifting into new dimensions by the pivot focus of our intention and our vision, okay? So as I was talking earlier about letting go of fear, and seeing how can this be of benefit to us moving forward towards creating that utopia on earth. 
truth is is a lot of beings already living in the 5d reality i consider myself to be that being because to me 5d reality is my experience of the world around me through an intentional choice of perception which is focused on love and light and abundance and freedom and play and joy each and every single day i live to choose to see things from a place of love i choose myself i choose my happiness okay a lot of things that have been happening in my life many years before have been happening on a subconscious level and now reflecting that at this point in my life i have been able to put myself in a position of having everything i want need and desire around me exactly as i wanted to be because a while ago i realized that each and every one of us lives in our own and unique universe imagine your life as its own unique universe and each and every person around you is in their own universe all of this is the philosophy of being the creator of your life this is the philosophy of creatorhood and intentional deliberate living which some of us have tapped into so i invite you now to look at the universe that you have created around yourself and see which aspects are no longer working for you perhaps you are starting to realize that the job that you've been working hasn't been serving you so by constantly living in a place of not loving what you do you have now created an opportunity to not work or maybe this is an opportunity for you to look at other ways that you can work and share your gifts perhaps you had an opportunity to reflect on your relationship and how the relationship that you've been in either has been working or not working and now with this lockdown and having to spend more time in solidarity perhaps this is an opportunity to see maybe you like being on your own without this person or maybe you really do miss this person and you want to be closer to them perhaps this is just an opportunity to look at all aspects of life and see what have you been choosing what have you been deliberately and most mostly subconsciously unconsciously choosing to pull into your life because right now we are on the bridge of paradigm we wanted changes light workers have been praying for years for shifts for transformations for more harmony and world for more balance for more integrity in our society and our government well guess what this is exactly it this is exactly what we need for the changes to take place and there is a saying that before things get really good they first have to crumble and get really dark along your spiritual journey you might come across a time that's called the dark night of the soul and this is the same thing that's happening right now in our collective our earth the collective is going through the dark night of the soul where we are collapsing and crumbling what is not longer working okay and i'm just gonna jump off this flow for a second because i had something i really wanted to share the coronavirus has been specifically placed onto earth okay the saying was it started somewhere in china in a very rural area right so how the hell did it get across the whole freaking globe how do you think my personal belief is through chemical trails okay if you don't know what chemical trails are i invite you to go on google and type in effects of chemical trails on your environment and your health there's a reason why i'm so passionate about holistic wellness and taking care of my health and very specifically on detoxifying my body in order to live in these high vibrational frequencies to feel good in the body the inner world of the body has to be clear and pure and it's not just about the food you eat 
Because guess what? The greater powers are also poisoning our air. The chemical trail pollution is designed to lower human immunity system. Some of this might be mind blowing for you guys, but this is truth. This is why I started doing heavy metal detoxes a couple years ago. I started bringing in spirulina and chlorella and other vitamins and supplements to constantly be purifying my body. Okay? So going back now, this is time for us to meditate, to pray for the life that we all truly want. And I invite you to take few moments every day and perhaps I will make a message and maybe we can do this collectively is to come in prayer to your sacred space. If you don't have a physical sacred space, find that sacred space within yourself to meditate and take time to bring in focus and awareness to what kind of world you would like to live in. Because right now we are shifting dimensions. Quantum leaping into realities that which we believe in. So if you are constantly watching the news and listening to all this crap that's going on and you're living in fear, then this is the direction that you're going into. However, if you are avoiding the societal formation of the news and you're focusing on feeling good, on having greater vision of all the good things that have been already happening in our world. And if you have the vision of what you want your life to look like and how you want to feel, then guess what? That's the direction that your consciousness is going to move towards. And that's the dimension that you will start leaping into. Like timeline jumping and quantum leaping is real thing. You guys, again, do some research on this. You can literally change your whole life in a matter of days if you do conscious quantum leaping work. And how it works is like this. You imagine yourself being where you already desire to be. This is all the work of focus and concentration, meditation. It doesn't have to be meditation, sitting, meditating on your mat. You can be washing dishes and bringing in focus to what you want. But point being is, is you have to constantly keep feeling into the life that you want to live. You have to have the insights and the images. That's why vision boards are so great. Pinterest boards, you know, any visionary aspect that you can bring into your mind's eye. Like I'm not a good visualizer. I'm a feeler. I'm a thinker. Like I think I speak my reality into existence. But if you're a visual person, having a visual representation of where you want to go, it's going to help you time jump into that that much faster. Okay. So as we are moving through these times, like this is a time for community, for coming together, you know, coming together like this online, since we can be together in person. But even that today, I went out to a local park, I took my sound healing bowls out and I just sat there and I played the bowls and I just wanted to ground and share the frequencies and I had people come and introduce themselves and we connected, you know, people don't want to stay home. So if you have local park, go outside and enjoy. Don't live in fear of catching the virus. Take care of your body. Take care of your immune system. Most importantly, you guys take care of your mind, take care of your thoughts, read things that inspire you. Look at beautiful scenery. You know, fill yourself with high vibrational aspects. Listen to beautiful music, chant mantras. This is the time where all we have is time. You know, we have time to play around and, you know, get this inner child back out so that we can once again, remember why we came here for. We did not come here to struggle. You guys. We did not come here to live in poverty and to live day to day working a crappy job that we hate just to pay bills month to month with limited vacation off. We descended on this planet to live this human life 
as awakened and conscious beings. And the more you can lean into the uncertainty, the more you can trust in the guidance of your higher self, the more you can listen to the whispers of your heart, the more you can manifest that reality into your life. And if you don't believe this, look at me. Look at other people who have already done this work. These messages are of hope and inspiration so that I can be a mirror for you of what is possible. We are all are here collectively together. I am you and you are me. Can you see that? Can you feel that? Can you listen to the voice inside your heart that is guiding you away from what is not meant for you? What can you do now to shift into the reality that you want? It's work. You have to do the work. The inner work, you guys. The awakening comes in phases. We all are here on this journey. Some people started early and some people are starting now. And regardless of it all, we are all on it together. My essential process is going to go only as far as yours will because we are in this together. We all have to work hard to let go of the ego, to let go of the mind, to let go of things that are bringing us into fear. We have to learn how to work with our ego in an empowered way. It's not about having an ego death and getting rid of your ego. It's about knowing yourself, knowing who you are, knowing that you can speak from a place of love, yet integrity and boundaries, okay? So as I'm coming to a close, I want to say thank you all for tuning in and thank you each and every one of you for doing what it is that you're doing. And if you can too share this message with your friends, with your family, so that other people can hear and take away what is needed for them, then you are contributing to the collective guidance, okay? I take time to really come here grounded and share this with you because I love you and I love for all of humanity to live a beautiful life. Because why not? Because we can choose to live either or. It comes down to you and what will you choose? Will you choose to live in fear or will you choose to live in love? It's up to you. All right, my lovelies, it's been a blessing sharing this space with you. I hope that you will take away all that is needed for you. And until we meet again, I love you all. Namaste.